Nekem van a pól egy class. Az class for, az class for. Classification, that's like a template for the template or an object, yeah? So public class wallet. And then you open it. So what are the properties? What, what do we have as a property? Balance, isn't it? So we're going to do balance of private. And we're going to say what? Hard private cost balance. Balance is double, isn't it? Balance is double. Okay. What's the next thing that we need? Private. Huh? Which one's two then? Private. Uh, we can say customer name. Yeah. What are we missing here? String. String. Yeah. So here is the string. String. Student. Student. Customer name. And then after that, we got private. Are oh, you know what we're going to do? String again. Make it simple. Yes. String. Customer. Type. Customer type. So the customer type is going to go into string. The students and a pass the value. Student, non-student. In here. Anything else that we need? Discount. Maybe the discount level. So they say private integer. And then this is going to be an integer. There's going to be a whole number, yeah. And then we're going to put uh, public. You know what? We're going to put it, call it static. Do you remember what static is used for? Static. Static is like to make like constant, fixed. So it's fixed across all the objects. So you say private static, and then we say uh, int, and then after that, what we would say? We we'll put custom so discount. Yeah, student discount. Yeah, student discount. discount. And now we're going to pass the value. What we'll does it say in the example? It says 20%, yeah? We're going to put 20. Is that readable? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. What, yeah. what if you add um, final after the word static? Yeah, you can put final. Final after the word yeah, static. Yeah, that means you can never change it. Okay. Yeah. But here we just made it. But, it would, but basically, this one. We can change that value, mm -hmm. but it would be the same across all the customers, all the students. So if we have 100 students, mm -hmm. automatically that will change for all of them. Okay. It won't be fine. Mm -hmm. It will be it's fixed, but mm -hmm. it's not fine. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mr. Mm -hmm. Shola? So, sorry. So you got these, these are the properties, yeah? Yes, but... I now we want to go to the next bit. Yes, next but bit. if I use Boolean, sorry, if I use Boolean. Boolean, we can pass true or false. We're going to do a check. If it's true, then the true or false. Yeah. You can say uh, customer type or student is student equals false, and then you need to pass true value to make it true. But this one's simple. Let's make it string. Yeah. It won't get confused. So this could be a customer, a student, or non-student as a string. We finished with the properties. Now you want to do the methods, right? I'm going to open another one. What's, what's the first method? The first method is private, uh, no, sorry, public wallet. Yeah, we're going to.